You know when people praise you for eating a salad? Yeah. Oh, well are you eating it? Well done, you're eating a salad. I guess I am worried about my health. Um, you know, the whole diabetes, being able to move in the future. Um, yeah. But isn't everyone worried about their health? The fat acceptance movement. The most brain dead movement ever created has spread towards every corner of the internet over the course of the past few years and has caused immense pain and suffering to those unlucky enough to have been exposed to its opinions and practices. Nevertheless, it is my responsibility as a caring member of society to prevent any further anguish on account of this movement by obliterating it with what used to be known as common sense, although I'm not so sure whether it's still ever so common. Given these circumstances, we'll be looking at a truly terrifying video from the BBC3 YouTube channel titled Things Not To Say To A Fat Person. Let's get right into it. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> You're not fat. I know. When people say that, they're quite clearly lying to me. The only people who tell fat people that they aren't fat are teenage girls on Instagram who seek to have their appearance validated and complimented so they spam each other's posts full of nice comments even if most of them are fake. This makes fat girls feel less like African elephants even if they look like them. On the other hand, if you're a man and you're fat, then you're just fucking fat. That's it. I am fat. I am obese and my BMI is quite high and if you can't see that, you need a stronger pair of spectacles. I tell you what, I'll get myself that pair of spectacles as soon as you get yourself a heavy duty scale since you obviously can't use a conventional one and you're clearly not aware of just how heavy you are, otherwise you would be running on a treadmill right now instead of taking part in a video educating the public on how not to offend the heaviest members of the human race. It goes back to the fact that people are uncomfortable yeah, with that the word. F word, the dreaded F word. The word fat isn't insulting to me, so don't try and come in and swoosh in like a knight in China. Yeah. Go, you're not fat! <laughs> you're Stop. gorgeous! You're fine! The reason the word fat is insulting in the first place is because of its meaning. It's for the exact same reason the word ugly is insulting. If you want to pretend that a word that is associated with this isn't insulting, then you may continue being in denial about it, but please do so in your own head because otherwise I will have to destroy your hopes of normalizing being overweight with cold, hard facts and reality. You'll never get a partner if you look like that. My mum thought that if any date I went on, the guy had to have a fetish about fat girls. Oh God. Well, I don't even think that's all too far-fetched because I don't know of many people that are actually attracted to fat individuals. As for the whole you'll never get a partner if you look like that thing, it's quite harsh, but at the same time, it's kind of true, at least when you're obese by choice. Do most people want someone who's so irresponsible that they let themselves become so massive they use Wembley Stadium as a bathtub? No, so fat people like the ones in this video shouldn't cry when they're told this, but instead do everything in their power to get healthy again. In the long run, it'll make them way happier than their food ever could. Oh, he's good looking. What, what did you do? Are you oh, a really you? good cook? Is he weird? <laughs> Has he got a fetish? Does he like fat Has people? Has he got a fetish? Does he jiggle oh. you? You can see people like when you're grocery shopping looking into your basket. The shopkeeper would just be like, oh. Well, what do you expect if you as an obese person go into a shop and attempt to purchase a box of donuts? You're obviously gonna get weird looks. It's just like with any harmful addiction. If you feed your addiction, pun most certainly intended, you'll be stared at because even though you might not care, most other people are perfectly aware of the consequences of such actions. You know when people praise you for eating a salad? Yeah. Oh, well are you eating it? Well done, you're eating a salad. Should you be wearing that? I hear this all the time. Do you? Yes, but it's it's nothing to do with being fat. Why is there this preconception that there's things that because you're a certain size you shouldn't be able to it's wear? It's because of the fat girl rule book. Horizontal stripes shouldn't wear that. We shouldn't wear anything that shows your arms. We shouldn't wear anything fitted. Yeah, I think the limitations on the clothing style of overweight people stems from how they used to not actually want to look fat. That is until the fat acceptance movement ruined everything. So the reason a fat person wouldn't wear X, Y and Z was because it made them look even fatter, which most people still don't find particularly attractive. But generally I would have to agree with her, I think anybody regardless of gender and weight should be allowed to wear absolutely anything and everything. The question of if you like what that person is wearing is a totally different subject matter. Just because I'm not particularly keen on seeing Virgie Tova in a bikini doesn't mean she shouldn't be allowed to wear one.
Okay, maybe she shouldn't be allowed to wear one. <laughs> Have you tried exercise? Not recently. For me, it makes me feel good mentally. Like, if I've had a bad week or a bad day, I'll go to the gym or I'll go and swim to swim it out, clear my head, and I feel great. Not because I want to be a certain size or look a certain way or want a certain number on the scales. I just do it because I enjoy it. Well, not for very long, apparently. So if someone says, have you tried exercise like it's some sort of um, remedy to my fatness? Allow me to let you in on a little secret. Exercise is, in fact, a remedy to most people's fatness. Then, um, <laughs> no, I haven't tried exercise to shed myself of my blubby body. They're trying to be nice, but this just comes across as very passive-aggressive. I know, but I really care. Are you worried about your health? No, you're just being a dickhead. I'd gladly be a bit of a dickhead to you than for you to be a dickhead to your body, after which you end up in an early grave and you can say, yeah, but it's my body. You wouldn't say that about smokers or drug addicts or alcoholics either. So why would you say it about overweight people? It really annoys me when people obviously assume that you're going to be really unhealthy by physically looking at you. Like, for example, me, I've been a strict vegetarian since birth. I don't smoke. I've never drank in my life. How much more healthy of a lifestyle could I lead? Oh, um, I'm pretty sure overweight people who are vegetarians don't smoke and don't drink exist in this world. Good on you for being all of these things, but that does not mean you are exempt from the consequences of being overweight. I mean, this woman clearly is an obese, and it's true that you can't always tell whether someone's unhealthy just by looking at them. But even if you as an overweight person aren't suffering from the various health issues associated with excess weight yet, you are still putting a lot of stress on your joints and heart all all the time. And the risk of your health declining in the future because of your size is still very real. This line of reasoning is just stupid. No smoker would justify their addiction to smoking by saying, yeah, I don't have 12 different malignant tumors all throughout my body yet, so I should be okay. I guess I am worried about my health. Um, you know, the whole diabetes, being able to move in the future. Um, yeah. But isn't everyone worried about their health? If she spent as much time thinking her excuses through as she does shoving food down her throat, then I wouldn't have to risk my well-being commenting on them. Like, how can she not see the flaw in such an argument? Luckily, not every person has to worry about... You know, the whole diabetes, being able to move. Every single day. She really isn't exactly making a case for gingers here, is she? I think when we start going down that route of asking bigger people, we have to then start going down the route of walking through pubs and everything everybody having a point, do you worry about your health, or everybody smoking on the street, do you worry about your health? I mean, I personally wouldn't go up to complete strangers and tell them they should be worrying about their health, regardless of if they're overweight, if they smoke, or if they're alcoholics. And I doubt there are many other people who would do that to fat people. But there's a clear difference between drinking a pint of beer under normal circumstances and eating excessive amounts of food to the point where it actually poses a threat to your life and body. People are so concerned with other people's lives and their health that they actually forget that they need to be concentrating on themselves. That's it, I'll leave that to my doctor, thanks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A qualified GP. Yes, yes, except for the fact that you won't because you'll feel oppressed when you have to step on the scales to weigh yourself. Although, trust me, the scales are more oppressed from you stepping on them than you are from being weighed. I had that um, shouted at me like, from a car while I was running. I was like, I'm, tr I'm trying, I'm running. <laughs> okay, that's actually fucked up if you're an overweight person who's actively engaging in activities to help you lose weight, like running, and then someone in a car comes up to you and calls you fat, which is actually quite ironic when you think about it. Then it's good to keep in mind that these people are nothing short of absolute pillocks, and you should use their outbursts as motivation. Are you expecting that person to be like, good point, weirdo in a car, I'm gonna go to the gym now? That is the one thing you're allowed to have a go at about people, like, you know, white van driver just shouted out at you, fat. You tell that story to your friends, they'll just laugh and they go, yeah. oh, you, you are a bit overweight, mate. I'm not saying you should go around fat shaming every overweight person you see, but you should definitely help your overweight friends by looking for suitable diets and maybe a workout plan, etc. instead of lying to them about how they're beautiful and everyone's beautiful no matter their size. Like, even if that was the case, even if overweight people were incredibly sexy, I would still be strongly opposed to excess weight because it's so unhealthy and could reduce your lifespan quite quite severely. Imagine how good looking you'd be if you lost a bit of weight. I don't think the world is ready for that.
Then it's like, imagine how much of a nice person you'd be if you weren't such a massive prick. Beauty, it's what's within. Totally. You can be a um, size 10 feel, and yeah. be a vicious, venomous bitch. And that's not pretty. And both, they don't, they don't cancel each other out. I can be fat, I can be beautiful. On the inside, perhaps, but if we're supposed to stay real here to most people, including me, fat people are not attractive. Does that mean you have to be chiseled as shit as a man or have the body of a goddess as a woman? No, you need only be at a healthy weight. That's not too much to ask. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Don't forget to comment on future video suggestions and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee